Hello everyone, welcome to Book Review Monday and my channel. So it's been weeks since I last filmed a book review and um, I know I scheduled like a few of them to go live on YouTube, um, but I had pre-filmed those ones like back in like late May or early June. So <laughs> I miss filming so I wanted to do a quick review of the books that I have read and um, books that I am looking forward to reading. I remembered someone on YouTube did this with uh, makeup uh, of speed reviews or skincare, hair care stuff. I'm just doing this with books, so <laughs> let's just get into this, shall we? So I might spoil a few of these, so there is a spoiler warning right now, and um, I will read the blurb and as well as do my recap review and rate of the book overall. And then I will mention um, the current book that I'm reading and um, and as well as books that I plan to read. So I have a list of all of those. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get this started with the first book I want to mention that I have finished and it's called Help Me Remember by Corinne Michaels. Now I wanted to get my hands on this book when it released and I was I, I was a little disappointed that I didn't get uh, that I didn't get an ARC but that's totally fine. I knew that as soon as this book was going to release, I wanted it. <laughs> so I got it and I'm happy. <laughs> she, and so, you know, I love Corinne Michaels. She also has another romance suspense um, series that's out there too. Um, and she, so she has done them. So it, it's, uh, I'm happy that she has another romance suspense series. Um, out now. So this, so this is the first one. Help me remember is the first one of this series. Um, so the blurb of this one goes, in one second my life disappeared. My past, my memories, my future. The only certainty I have from the last three years is that my older brother is dead and I am the only eyewitness. In order to protect the case, the lawyers demand that no one give me any information about my life. I must remember on my own. My only help comes from my brother's best friend and world-renowned invest investigative reporter, Spencer Cross. He has no idea how many nights I've spent dreaming of his name and his body next to mine. Now we're a team, and our goal is to recover my memories and retrace my past. But each day we spend together, he's looking at me as more than his friend's little sister, and I find it harder to want my old life back. Instead, I'm wishing for a new one with him. His kiss feels like home, his arms make me feel safe, and I never want this to end. As my memories return, forcing me to face my future, everything falls apart. Especially when I find an engagement ring hidden in my apartment. I have no idea who gave it to me or what it means about my past. I may have asked Spencer to help me remember, but now I wish I could forget. So first, first off, everyone is a suspect. <laughs> So Spencer can't tell Brielle um, about anything. She woke up from a coma with no memory of, of the last three years of her life. She still believes that she's in a relationship with an ex-boyfriend of hers, but um, that literally gets proven later on that that's not true. Um, actually, like early on, it, it's she discovers that's just not true because she sees that there's no pictures of them together in her apartment and she immediately thinks if we are together there would be some sort of indication that we are. So she had a feeling that that's basically what had happened that they're no longer together. Um, and you know, it, her brother Isaac died um, protecting Brielle actually. It's sad because you know you see Brielle struggle with everything. She doesn't have any memories, no memories for the last three years. And it's like, imagine you wake up and you have no memory of what your life was like. 
um, or even longer than three years. You know, you you have no idea who you are now. You just have a you're just literally like thrown back to how you were three years ago but then it's like how are you supposed to manage you know you have no you have no clue if there's anyone special in your life or anything like that you know brielle had a guy in her life after her and her ex had broken up she had a guy in her life you know we find out who that guy is, of course, and because it was very obvious. <laughs> and the fact that he's able to actually play along, it's really sad. And the sad thing is that nobody, nobody knew that they were together in the first place. No one knew. They were just kind of, maybe if, uh, uh, you know, in their eyes, they were kind of afraid of how everyone's reaction would be. But, um, you know, it's very, very interesting. And, you know, he did ask her to marry him right, uh, like, right before she uh, had her accident. But you know, when it comes to the person who had shot her brother and knocked, uh, and, uh, knocked her out and basically stole, basically stole her memories from her, you know, that one is someone you least, least suspect. So, again, keep in mind, everyone is a suspect, <laughs> so... Yeah, so this whole book is just a fantastic read, and I, I and I do re uh, recommend it if you love romance. Obviously, if you do love romance, you'd be uh, you, <laughs> that's the reason why you're watching the, uh, this video right now. But um, for all of you romance suspense lovers that are out there, this book is actually really good, and I rated it five stars, and I know you will too. So the next book to talk about in this uh, short reviews is. Returning Home by Kelly Elliott. Now I had now I had received an ARC from Grace Promotions and Kelly Elliott uh, for this, and um, so I wanted to say thank you guys for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, this book reminds me so much of Bridgerton in the sense of who is this mysterious columnist and everything. It's like Seaside has their own little version of Lady Whistledown, so the blurb goes like this, and pardon the accent that comes out. This one, the Seaside Chronicle, July 12th, 2022. Let's be. Seasiders. News on the docks is uh, Adelaide Bradley is back in Seaside, and rumor has it she's here to stay. No ring was spotted, uh, was spotted on her uh, finger. I might add, after eight long years of living in the big city and working for Massachusetts General, she has decided uh, to return uh, to the shores. One can only imagine how thrilled Barbara and Keegan are to have their oldest daughter back. But it makes you wonder if Adelaide will continue to peruse her, nu uh, her nursing career, or is she here to help? at her family's restaurant, the Seaside Grill. A little seagull has planted in my ear that Gannon Wilson is taking in the news rather well, considering Adelaide broke his heart all those years ago. I did notice Gannon ha has been working more than usual, piloting the precious cargo through our uh, ship channel. Maybe he is picking up extra hours to purchase a piece of jewelry, considering he has as he was seen in Reef Jewelers only a few uh, uh, only a few days ago, only days ago. Sorry. Anyway, we're rooting for the two of them to reunite at least as friends. Everyone knows the former homecoming king and queen had a bright future ahead of them until. Well, that's another story for another issue, Seaside is. Fair winds and following seas. Sorry, I had to read that in an accent. <laughs> Every time that I read a chapter that had to do with the Seaside Chronicle, I just started, like, hearing Lady Whistledown's voice in my head, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, <laughs> I will say that I love Ganon and Adelaide. Um, when they go their separate ways in the beginning of the book, um, you know, you hope they find their way back to each other again. 
um, you know, several, leader, uh, several years later happen and, or go by and um, fate brings them back into each other's lives. This story is a sweet love story. Like it really is. You get a little bit worried at, at one, maybe two points, um, but that gets resolved fast. And I also love this book and I had set up for the next one. And it looks like the next one will be just as interesting. And I want to know who this mystery, uh, who the mystery columnist is because, oh my gosh, like, I'm betting that it's one of the family members. I mean, I have a feeling that it is one of the uh, family members. I just don't know who it is yet. So <laughs> we'll see. It's a great book. Um, I gave it a five star rating. Now I just finished this next book not that long ago. Um, so it's called Second Chance Contract by M. Robinson. This book was riveting, entertaining, and captivating. I hung on to every word that this author put in her book. And this is how the blurb goes. She was my best friend's little sister, which means she was off limits, but I couldn't help myself. I never could, I never could when it came to her. And in the end, I just left town and made something uh, for myself. 10 years later, and I was, and I was the one of the richest men in the world. I had everything I ever wanted except for her. Little did I know, life would give me a second chance to make things right by her. She was suddenly my publicist, treating me as if I was nothing more than a, another client when I stole all her first, including her heart. I needed to take matters into my own hands, making her an offer she couldn't refuse. For the next no, for the next time days she signed a contract stating she was mine this book goes back and forth <laughs> from past to, uh, from present to past um, you know secrets and secrets just pour out of all of these characters and you know I feel like Julian grew more when autumn came back into his life and, you know, you feel bad for him because of how he was raised and repeatedly put into foster homes and to bad foster homes. And, you know, I might just do a full review, um, full and detailed review of this book along with the other ones that follow because it's a, because it is a, a series. And, um, and plus I don't mind reading, reading this one again. <laughs> so I give it five stars. Now, as I'm filming this, I'm currently reading an ARC that I had received, um, and this one and the one this one's called "Broken Boys Can't uh, Love" by Michaela uh, Smeltzer. I'm only twenty percent into it, and I love it so far. So the books that I want to read are most are mostly ones that I already have or I borrowed using in my Kindle Unlimited uh, uh, subscription or membership. So those, so this is the second chance foul, second chance scandal, second chance love. All of those are by um, M. Robinson, and they are part of the um, series that, of the book that I just mentioned. So I also want to read the Butterfly Effect by Meg Becker, the Good Girl series by Holly Renee. I want to finish the rest of the Brood series by Molly McAdams. I only have two of them left, which is Glow and Fire. Getting Real by Emma, uh, by Emma Chase. Flirt by uh, Adriana Locke. Vengeance of a Mafia Queen by Siobhan uh, and Davis. The Scandal by Kristen Proby and Broken Rain by a uh, Ava Harrison. And I also want to read the All of Me series by Siobhan Davis as well. I, I, almost, uh, I almost forgot to mention that one. But I want to say uh, thank you guys for watching in uh, uh, this video. If you're interested in any of these books, I actually will have links in the description box below for you. This video was honestly fun to film because it was very quick and everything, but uh, I do love giving these ones as well as the 
full and detailed reviews for um, uh, for books, but this was like the first time that I was uh, able to fit like at least three of them in one. I've done two of them in one before, but uh, this is the first time I've done more than two. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. It is free, and I will see you guys in the next uh, video.